What is up everyone, this is Jay the Gamer, and I'm bringing you a different type of video today. I'm bringing you a little tutorial video today on how to get sound to go to your TV and TV slash monitor and to your headset at the same time for the PlayStation 4. Now, I had to move my PlayStation 4 and my computer over to where my big TV is in order to record my gameplay videos because I couldn't hear the volume through my headset so I had to go use the TV have the TV up high enough but just low enough to where the mic doesn't pick it up and then where I can hear it just so the T uh, the game volume would go to the game capture software on my computer so this morning I was searching the internet and I found this guy with a video on how to do it so I'm like alright I'm gonna have to spend like 60 bucks just to do, just to do this and uh, I'm like alright so I went over to Best Buy because they had everything I needed well it turns out they actually didn't have any of the stuff that was there other than the cable that I needed so I asked the guy I'm like hey do you have the converter box and the cable and he's like no 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 but uh, we have something else over in the gaming section for you so he took me over there and he found me this Right here, this box. Okay, it's a PlayStation 4 headset upgrade kit for uh, Turtle Beach headset. So pretty much what this is is this is the uh, it has uh, the digital to analog converter, which is what I need it, and the digital optical cable, which I need it, and it also comes with a PlayStation 4 chat cable, so you can use that if you want. But uh, my assumption is that the cable that came with your Turtle Beach headset will work anyways since it's like a headphone jack so yeah so right now uh, this is this is what it is outside of the box of course this, this comes unattached so this is the USB and then you plug the other USB into and then this is the cable that you need right here let it focus okay so I'm gonna show you how to put it together I'm gonna show you how to put it together alright so we want to do is you're gonna take this end right here you're gonna plug it in right here right here okay push it in until it clicks all right okay so I'm gonna set that down I'm gonna grab my PlayStation 4 here it's not plugged in or anything because I gotta show you how to, I'm gonna show you how to do it okay so look at the back of it you have to plug it into this right here right here so this end right there goes into there okay so be careful not to push too hard because you don't want to break it and push just hard enough to where you hear a click or like a snap okay it snapped in all right so as you can see on the back there's no USB plug-in for this Is that a, no there's no USB plug-in for this so what you gotta do is direction say take it up front and plug it into the front it's just like that Alright, so what you want to do next is that all Turtle Beach headset for the Xbox 360 or any other headset comes with cables that have the headphone jack and then a USB thing on it, which is connected, which has this, which lets you control the volume and then lets you connect your headset into the top of it. Okay, what you want to do is you're going to plug this into the outline all right so you hear a snap when it goes in and then you gotta plug this into the USB out okay here another snap all right so it's all plugged in this is how it's supposed to look front and back okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, skip the video because I got to plug everything back in so I'll be right so as you guys can see it's got you can see the little bars bouncing. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go over to uh, kill zone here and go down because it plays like music and stuff. So as you can see, the bars are bouncing. All right, they're bouncing up and down. All right. So the issue was if I had it playing through game capture, I couldn't hear it through my headset. If I had all volume going through my headset, it wouldn't capture the game volume. But then there there is my fix. All right. 
So what I'm going to do is you're going to watch the screen, you hear the bouncing, and then I'm going to put the headset up to my mic so you guys can hear it. Okay? Alright, so as you can see, or hear, is that the volume is going through the game capture, but it's also going through my headset. So now I can record over back by where my computer should be, and then I won't have any issues with that. So that's pretty much it. That's all you guys need to do. So uh, what it did is it ended up costing $38, well it was $34 and then plus tax, so it was $38 to buy this and it's cheaper than buying the $30 uh, digital to analog converter and then the cord that costs extra money because you're going to want to get a good one you're not going to want to get a cheap one because then the sound quality won't be as good so yeah so that is all for this video if you guys enjoyed the video please drop a like and also share it and while you're at it, um, just uh, follow my Twitter link and then follow me on Twitch. I do stream every once in a while. I mainly only stream PC games, but I might stream some PlayStation 4 games in the near future. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. See you.